Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Beth Deer. For people who are blind and partially sighted, a low employment rate is a reality. CNIB's Employment Skills Camps aims to empower and reduce the unemployment rate for people with sight loss. I attended one of these camps in 2019, and it was one of the most beneficial things I have done since losing my sight. Crystal Beaudry is an executive director of the program in Saskatchewan. Hi, Crystal. Thank you so much for joining me. Do you mind telling us a little bit about the camp? Our Youth Employment Skills Camp took place at the beginning of July and we brought youth together in a virtual format this year and we really taught them about skills for that first time employment opportunity. So, you know, how to dress for success, uh, prepping for your first interview and those kind of skills. You know, oftentimes our youth struggle with that first employment opportunity, whether it's, you know, a, a checkout cashier or whether it's a dishwasher or something along those lines. We really wanted to teach them the skills that, that they need to be successful when they go on that first interview. So how to fill out your application form, how to focus some of your time on some of the volunteer skills you've built and really build that resume so that you have a great chance of being successful. One of the many participants who was looking to improve her skills was 16-year-old Karis Oceany, who completed the course virtually from her home in Saskatchewan. Hi Karis, last year when I did the CNIB employment program, I found the skills they taught extremely helpful in beginning my journey. Do you feel that you had the same experience as well? Yes, I think I, I do. I definitely do. Um, I think it's a really great way to like get introduced to how the workforce works and how you as like a blind or partially sighted person can navigate it and be successful within it. The day we did a presentation about technology. That was my favorite part. I love learning about different technologies that are out there and I love seeing how different people use them for different situations. The camp gives you all sorts of tips on like how to sort of fit in and look like hireable and presentable, but it also teaches you how to make sure that like your individual needs within the work environment are met and different ways for advocating for yourself because I think that last one is like extra important for any disabled worker and any disabled person. The CNIB realizes that developing the necessary skills for people to actively seek and retain work is just half the battle. Seven out of 10 employers, when given two equally qualified candidates, would choose the sighted person over the blind individual. So there's a lot of myths and misconceptions around employing someone who's blind or partially sighted in our community. CNIB has been actively engaged in a come to work project, which is really about outreach to employers that are small and medium sized enterprises across the country. So we've been calling employers, talking about employment, talking about accommodation, because oftentimes I think employers think accommodation might be really expensive, when a lot of times it could be something simple. It could be lighting in the workplace. It could be a bump on um, on various tools in the office. It could be a piece of software like JAWS or Zoom Text or Fusion, um, or it could be just magnification on the screen that someone needs in order to make that position accessible. Chantelle Painter works for Human Resources for recruitment and engagement at The Brick, and she actively engages with groups like the CNIB to recruit members that reflect the communities they serve in. Our, our hiring initiatives have, have brought our teams closer together um, and really increased engagement. Um, any sort of accommodations we've had to make have not only made it um, so that the individual can perform at their peak capacity and their peak abilities, we've also found that it's it's been really helpful and, and flowed into other areas of the business where our customers are having a more enjoyable experience with, uh, you know, in our stores or people who are working on a team with this person learn new ways to communicate. The result from that has always been more engaged teams and teams that really function at a higher level because everybody feels included. So my advice for blind and partially sighted individuals who are seeking employment for the first time is to really put yourself out there and take the risks. Practice your skills, practice your interview skills and really have your technology down because those will be beneficial to you when you, when you do enter the workplace. When I talk to the career advisor from the CNIB, she says a lot that a question she gets asked often is like, what is a good job for a blind person? And her answer is just any job because like, it's not, it's really not that hard to make things accessible and there's so many jobs and like there's no way that you can't find something that you enjoy and something that you think you can do and something that can be made accessible so that you can do it successfully and independently.